guys and welcome to my channel and to today's video. So today I'm going to be reviewing and just demoing using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour hydra foundation and um, so i was really excited to try this because i heard loads of good reviews about it i picked it up from look fantastic so it retails for 30 pounds so it's kind of similar to like estee lauder uh mac studio fix kind of prices um so yeah i was really excited for this to arrive and i i mean i've used it twice now so i feel like i've got a good base to kind of review this for you and tell you what i think so i'm just going to start by saying that the first time i used this i actually didn't love it i actually I found it quite dry in the first time i used it which i was really surprised considering it's like a hydro foundation um so yeah the first time i used it i was not in love with it at all i felt like when i put it on it really didn't go very far it started to kind of dry a bit and then when i put my concealer on top they just were not like getting on at all and it kind of looked muddy um so yeah, I kind of just took it off in a little strop and was yeah not very happy with the outcome. However, I did use it again yesterday and I made sure to put some, put on like obviously my moisturiser, hyaluronic acid and then a nice hydrating primer beforehand. And it went on really, really nicely. Um, so I've kind of prepped my skin as I normally would today so we can kind of see how it comes out. And then just reading the back, it says that it's oil free, which controls shine all day and doesn't cause breakouts, which it did actually stay really in place all day. Like I don't tend to have that oily skin this time of year. Um, so I can't comment on that, but it did stay in place all day. Like it did usually foundation comes off on my nose, which it didn't do. Um, it says it doesn't oxidize, which it definitely didn't transfer proof natural matte finish and doesn't settle into lines and pores so yeah i will go ahead and put it on for you and then show you what it's like at the end so just so you know what i'm doing while i do it i always uh, put foundation on with a nice big fluffy brush and then i'll go in with a damp beauty blender after just to kind of set it all in place and we haven't even touched on the shade yet so this is a shade 2.1a which is light medium with a neutral undertone this is slightly too dark for my skin so i just took like a complete wild guess on the website um but i know that when i tan which i like from march to october i tan all the time so i feel like this will be a perfect match um so yeah just don't mind that it's a little bit too dark Okay, so I'm just blending it now down my neck. Um, it has actually gone on really well today. So yeah, just like it did yesterday. Um, this is a very, very matte foundation. So like, I don't feel like it feels hydrating at all or like it feels like I've got powder on top if that makes sense. Um, so it has dried down very matte and it's given me a full, full coverage. Like it's, it really has kind of evened my skin tone like covered any imperfections and yeah so i feel like the actual appearance of it is really nice also it does actually feel pretty lightweight on the skin like it has dried down it's not sticky um so i can't feel like it's there it just does to me feel like a tiny bit stiff like it feels a bit too matte for my skin if that makes sense um but like my concealer and stuff are pretty hydrating so once i've got everything on i know it'll feel absolutely fine so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and quickly put the rest of my makeup on just so you can see what the finished look is like so here is the finished look with all the makeup on like all of the makeup did actually go on top really nicely and the makeup blended really nicely and went really well so yeah it's having a good day so i've got no complaints about it 
today and just like really picky there is one little thing that i've noticed about this foundation um and i think it is because it's like an oil control foundation and it is a matte foundation um so the pores on my cheeks i don't know if you can see like this is really minuscule but i'm just quite picky um so the pores on my cheeks i do tend to have open pores so this is where i get oily the like. pores on my cheeks just there like they are visible so the foundation although it says that it doesn't sink into like fine lines let's have a look it doesn't settle into lines and pores um whilst it hasn't settled into the lines like i feel like it's definitely settled into some of my pores there so i mean it could be fixed with like a pore filling primer it does suggest to use their primer their photo finish one on here which i have got but i haven't used it because i just as i said i went for a hydrating one instead um so yeah i'll definitely try it with that primer next time just to see if it makes a difference um but other than that yeah i'm happy with how the looks came out i definitely use the foundation again definitely more in the summer when my skin tends to get a little bit oilier as well like i feel like this is a really nice look for the summer like it really is not tacky at all it's dried down like really light matte um so yeah i hope the video has been helpful if you've got any questions at all about it then please do just ask in the comments um please also do subscribe to my channel check me out on instagram and tiktok and i will see you in the next video